Yo, I just got a hog during the making of this video, so I'm gonna give it away. Discord link in the description. I'm actually gonna give away three Hogyokus. All you gotta do is like this video and subscribe to the channel and enter the link in the description. Let's get straight into this video, man. What's good, y'all? It's Elixa. We are back with another video, and today we're gonna be going over everything coming out in the new update for type soul it's actually going to be pretty crazy and the craziest part is is this isn't even considered a major update it's just another one of their quote unquote small updates but we're going to be seeing a lot of new stuff and it's going to be even better than this light segunda and cybernetic update let's go ahead and talk about it all right guys so the first thing we're going to be talking about is death dealing a lot of people have been dming me or asking me in my discord what is death dealing and it is the thousand year blood war volt standing or volt user whatever you want to call it this is gonna spoil for the people who have not watched thousand year blood war here is your spoiler warning so guys, basically asking Shrift, which is the death dealing Quincy, it allows him to calculate the perfect lethal dose on any of his opponents, basically to kill them. And the way I could be see, seeing this be put into Type Soul, it'll kind of be like the Blood Z move where it kind of just knocks the player when you have like an attachment to them. And probably for the Volt standing, we could be seeing something that doesn't one shot but it could be something that slowly slowly poisons somebody so it'll be like an infinite bleed damage or something maybe a domain expansion to where they'll just be bleeding as long as they're in like this specific range for the downsides though i definitely do see the poison also affecting the user so it's gonna kind of be a double-edged sword for a lot of players so i don't think a lot of people are gonna like this new quincy ability if i'm being honest so guys, we all know that um, medics got nerfed, but I could see this going really well with medics. If they are going to make it as canon as possible, we got Reishi Manipulation. He could literally just absorb energy from the atmosphere and from other people and put it into his weapons. So we could see something like that medic ability that takes your Riyadzu. So yeah, basically that's about it for the death dealing bolt standing. I could see them doing a ton of variants with it, but pretty much it is kind of like poison, except it's going to be used in a way to where maybe you place it on them like that one Aron Keto uh, skill box move. All right, guys, now this one is going to be a huge spoiler. It's not even in Thousand Year Blood War, so I'm giving you that warning right now. But we are going to be getting Kisuke Udahara's Bankai, which is Benahime. And there's a lot to go over on it. And I honestly don't know too much about it myself as I am not a manga reader. But I do know the rundown of it. So I'm going to go ahead and explain that to you and then see how we can put it in Type Soul. So basically, Kisuke has the power to resurrect, to slice the pretty much a voodoo doll of a person and do whatever so like that he could slice somebody up like crazy he could heal somebody completely but it does take immense damage to himself but it's pretty crazy he basically has this like huge girl behind him so we could see the bankai being something like um Mayuri's, where he has that huge baby or something and Honestly, it's gonna be insanely busted, bro. Like, as a Bankai itself, not the Shikai, is literally going to be busted. You're probably going to be able to use moves and just slice an opponent to bits. Or Once again, guys, this might go really good with Medic if it's not way too nerfed, but you can literally stitch your wounds back together and heal your own injuries temporarily, but that would be busted with Medic also. But we don't know if they are going to go full cannon with this because we do see what they just did to Terraria, to the Mythical Light Segunda. They threw some random stuff, a guitar, but usually they do go more on the cannon side, so I think we should be okay. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to ask about the Hell update. We are not going to be getting that, I believe, until Phase 2, which is pretty much just going to be the next update after this, which is the next, the second major update which we can expect tons of content they already confirmed that we are going to be getting a ton of stuff in hell no it's not just permadeath it's not just some deep woken um what is that place called layer two i could be wrong bro 
but it's not the place where you just instantly die you're actually going to be able to go into that world and do new missions and fight probably new bosses and stuff like that so i'm pretty excited to see that as well if you enjoyed this video make sure to smash that like button smash that sub button turn on post notifications so you can get more videos just like this before the update comes out more rundowns but i'm gonna catch you on the next one man true hogyoku giveaway at 10,000 subscribers and i'm gonna catch you on the next one as always it's elixo peace